Oh, hello. I didn't hear you come in. I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. Don't mind me, I'm just perusing the newest of IDW's award-winning artist editions, Jim Lee's X-Men, made in cooperation with our friends at Marvel. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with artist editions. Editor Scott Dunbeer has been scouring the world for pages and publishing them in this format for almost a decade now. And after we started, well, a lot of other publishers followed suit. It's kind of wild though, after a decade, and with so many artist editions out there, this one is by far the biggest selling artist edition we've ever done. If you tried to order a signed and numbered edition, whew, we had a literally overwhelming number of people buying them and the book sold out in minutes. This is just the regular edition, but that's with just and regular in quotation marks because this is something really seriously nice. For anybody that doesn't know, artist editions are giant hardcover books like this that print high resolution scans of the original comic book art reproduced on beautiful paper at the size the pages were originally drawn at. It's as close as you can come to having the original art without, well, having the original art. And this book pulls in some breathtaking pages from Jim Lee's massively influential run on X-Men with writer Chris Claremont and inker Scott Williams. The hand letterer Tom Wojciechowski, you can also really see the beauty of his hand lettering in here. These comics helped define the 1990s. At the turn of that decade, no comics were bigger than the X-Books. And in terms of sales, no comic touched the issue that's the centerpiece of this artist edition. I'm talking about 1991's X-Men number one, the best-selling issue of a comic book ever. Every page is reproduced in this artist edition, including that famous spread of interconnected covers. I'll be honest, I love this issue. It's such a great example of the excitement and dynamism of superhero comics of that era. I mean, there's a panel that I just really, genuinely, totally, unironically love. When the government's tracking Magneto's actions, they display his image on a video screen that's, I mean, what? like 400, 500 feet tall, with tiny people drawn in looking at it on raised platforms. Why? And what building is it in? It appears for one panel and never comes up again. That's awesome. I love it. It's not realistic. It's not reasonable. It's super cool and fun and outrageous and I think really wonderful. And that level of Im imagination is Jim Lee's art in a microcosm. Story-wise, all that needed to be there was a TV screen or something, but Jim Lee drew this thing that in real life would have cost billions of dollars and basically been useless, but why not put it in the X-Men comic? And being able to really look in at the detail, the thought, the, well, I'll say it again, the unrestrained imagination to really look in close at every little detail Jim Lee made up, every little line Scott Williams' pen made on the page. And, and I mean, I don't want to overlook Scott Williams here. These issues changed the face of comic book inking as much as Jim Lee's pencils influenced a generation or two of layouts and color, uh, character design. Looking at this and getting to see Lee bringing in the, uh, the influences, while staying totally Jim Lee, the influences of artists like Otomo and Shirao, or when he really digs into the emotion of that harrowing moment when Magneto faces the repercussions of his actions inside the wreckage of the submarine, the Leningrad, or, hey, just Wolverine looking as badass and cool as he's ever looked the costumes like Jean Grey and Cyclops. Those became part of the public imagination via this comic's influence on toys, animation, video games. It's amazing to see this stuff in this format, but this video doesn't do it justice. You really do have to see it for yourself, like I'm doing. So visit the IDW website or your local comic book store and check out the uh, Jim Lee X-Men Artist Edition with an introduction by Scott Williams, all put together by the creator of the artist edition format, Scott Dunbeard. Hey, Scott. Congratulations on your wedding. The Jim Lee X-Men Artist Edition is on sale at the IDW website and wherever you buy books or comics. And as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here every week for news and updates. Thanks for watching.